What a beautiful day it is today on Sunday. Beautiful day in July. I'm at Cumberland Mountain State Park. Just one of the beautiful areas in Tennessee. Not too far from where we are at. Walking with Jesus. I love to walk with Jesus. Do you walk with Jesus? Do you find the time to walk with Jesus? God the Father, our Creator, the one who loves us so much that he sent forth his son to be born of a Virgin Mary, to become a man All God and man. Jesus gave his life for us. When he died on that cross, he didn't stay on it. When they buried him in that tomb, he was there three days and then he arose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He did that for you, and He did that for me. He did that for all of mankind. That we might have everlasting life with Him who chooses to follow Him, to trust Him, to believe, We have free will to choose. To choose the way to God the Father, which is through Jesus, His Son. He says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It is He who gives us freedom. If we choose to trust Him, turn from our wicked ways, and follow a life in obedience to God's Word, He inspired men to write His Word down in a book or to follow that. The Word is Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord God, our Creator, our Maker and our Sustainer, to have a walk with You, a daily walk, to choose to walk in faith and not by sight, to choose to walk by faith and not by sight, to choose to live our life for God, to let Him live His life through us. For those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and, and are walking the walk, keep on walking. Keep on walking with Jesus. It is He who will see us through the trials, the tribulations. He is your deliverer. He's our comforter and our protector. He's our provider. The one who sticks closer than a brother.
Yes, He's forgiven us of our past, present, and future sins. He took them all on the cross of Calvary when He hung there. But He says, You are sanctified. He'll never leave us nor forsake us, and He'll love us to the bitter end. However we choose to live, He will always love us, but it's our choice how we walk. There's scriptures that tell us, these will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Do you choose to walk the walk? Do you choose to take the path and the journey that God wants to lead all of His children on? Do you choose His free will? He will never force or make us do anything. He gave us all free will. Free will. Free will. And as you go on a journey with Jesus, He's going to get you way out of your comfort zone. Don't think it's going to be easy. Oh no. Anytime you're doing the work of the Lord and you're following His steps, His direction, His path that He takes you on, the devil's going to fight you. He ain't going to like it. But greater is He that is in us than the he that is in the world. The journey that Jesus will take you on will be one to encourage us and teach us and equip us, train us in the way that he wants us to go and to raise us up to be mighty warriors. Yes. We must be strong and we have to go through things and things in life that to make us stronger. He is our strong tower and He is the mighty rock on which we stand. He is our peace and our hope. But He says, put your faith and trust in me, not mankind. We're all made imperfect. Jesus is the only one that's perfect. He's the only one we can put our faith and trust in. It is He who gives us joy. He who strengthens us when we are weak. And when we're strong, He'll make us stronger. If we walk the walk with him. Walk the wall with him. We have to learn. He, he's our teacher. But we must seek him. Seek him with our whole heart, soul, and mind, and love Him with our whole heart, soul, and mind, not just part of it, but all of it. Have you fallen in love with Jesus and walking the walk with Him? Are you taking the path that He wants to lead you on, or another path? There's many paths out there. But there's only one right path, and that's the path that Jesus Christ wants to take you on. He'll show you the truth. He says in his word, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But I ask you today, do you know the truth? Do you hear the voice of God when he talks to you? He says, my sheep will know my voice. 
if you don't hear the Father, I think it's time. It's time to hear his still small voice. He can speak to you in many ways, in your spirit, through his word. However he so desires, sometimes he'll even speak to someone else and use their voice to speak to you. Be listening. Don't listen to the other thoughts that come into your mind, the negative thoughts, the thoughts of suicide, or that you're not worth anything, or, or you can't get anywhere, and you'll never amount to nothing. That's not of God. He would never do such a thing. No, God, God's never like that. His words are always loving and kind and encouraging, strengthening. Don't listen to the other things that the thoughts that come into your mind that are not from God. Those who are his children can rebuke them. You don't have to accept those thoughts. You can tell them to go. Because greater is he that is in you, Jesus, than he that is in the world. That's Satan. Satan's in the world. And those who know Jesus is, your, is their personal Savior. Oh, the Holy Spirit power within. Speak words of life. Be careful what you speak and be sure you stay on that path. While you're walking with God, take his footsteps. Follow after his footsteps. You want to follow after the Father. Father God. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Be sure you know and study his word and then go to the Father and say, Father, teach me the truth. There's so many people out here that speak all different kinds of things. They take the Bible and they twist it. God won't do that. If you go to the Father and say, Father, what does this mean? He'll show you the truth. And the truth shall set you free. There's a lot of lying, deceitful spirits out there that'll confuse you, lie to you, manipulate and twist. That's not of God. God is the truth and he will give you peace. So if you hear something and it's not of God, you will not have peace. God is your peace. He's my peace. He's what gets me through each and every day. Oh, Lord, I thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. You know, we're not under the law, but, you know, God says, If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. To live a righteous life. So he, when you get saved, we're righteous. We're made righteous. But if you choose to get out of the will of the Father, and you disobey the Father and what His Word teaches you. If you're doing things you shouldn't do and you know you shouldn't and you don't repent, oh, you need to read the Word, what it says about that. Those who fall away, those who walk away and don't repent, read what it says. If you willingly live in sin, repent. Repent and turn from that sin. It doesn't mean to do it again and then say, oh, I, I repent. Repentance is turning from your sin and walking the way of God. Your Father. He's your provider. He's the one that gives you the air that you breathe. He gives us all the beauty that surrounds us all around I've only just begun to see some of the beauty. What is your desire every day? Do you desire to walk the walk with Jesus? Or do you walk in places that are not good? Places of evil and corruption. Walk the walk with Jesus. Is the only walk.
I want to take. There's so many different ways out there people get high. Get high on Jesus. He's the only ultimate high. Nothing can compare to the high, the Holy Ghost power that can be within you if you love Jesus, if you accept him. Believe and trust in him. Jesus is your freedom. Jesus is your peace. He is your joy. He's the one who will comfort you when you need comforting. And when you fall, he'll pick you up. We'll never be perfect here on this earth because we're in these, these bodies. But there'll come a day and time if we follow the Lord and don't turn away from him. Don't turn away. He's going to take us all home to heaven. What a glorious day that will be. Oh, Lord, thank you for being our comforter. Thank you for being our provider. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you for being the one that sticks closer than a brother. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love walking with you, Jesus. If you've never walked with Jesus, start now. It's never too late. I know that the things of the world, the devil makes the things of the world seem like it's really good. It starts with the eyes. Oh, try this. Look at that. It starts with the eyes. And then you hear something say, try it. Oh, come on, try it. You'll like it. Don't listen to the lies. Don't listen to the lies. If you do, you'll be held in bondage. You don't want that. Jesus is all about setting you free and keeping you free. But it's our free will that allows him to do it. If you just fall in love with him, your maker, Jesus Christ, the only one God, the true God. If you'll just fall in love with him. Read his word and hold it close into your heart and, and learn it. And just let him live his life through you. Love others. It's so important to love others the way Jesus loves us. Everyone needs to be loved, and he tells us to. No matter what you've done, no matter what you look like, he loves us all. And like I said before, he'll love us to the bitter end, but it's our choice. Do we walk the walk with Jesus or walk the way of the world? Along by Satan. Along by his side doing the worldly things and the things you think are making you happy and you never find it. Walk the walk of Jesus and you will have happiness. You will have joy. I pray for you all. I pray a blessing over every soul in the world today. Every soul in the world today that... Jesus, they will know you personally. And then you can have the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. May you all walk the walk with Jesus. May you all know Jesus before it's too late. Because Jesus is returning one day. And he's going to take 
his children home with him. Don't forget, if you think you can live like the devil and call yourself a child of God, you need to look deep within your soul. It's your choice. Do you walk the walk with Jesus? Or do you turn away from him the walk away of devil? Walk the way of the devil if you turn away. It's your choice.